Greetings! I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Welcome back. What do you say we do something completely unrelated to trains today? I think we've spent enough time on trains recently, and we've got the whole contest thing going on. By the way, as of the posting of this video, I'm not taking any more submissions. You guys did an amazing job. You've sent me so many awesome designs, and I have gone through them, I've looked at them, and I am soon going to be choosing the ones that will be invited to come join me in an actual live contest, which I am going to live stream. We haven't decided on the date and time, but I'm going to live stream and then I'm going to put up a, um, an edited recording to show the winners of the contest, and then the winners are going to be able to get their prizes, and then I'm going to start using that braking system, or one of those braking systems. But, for today, since the contest is not over yet, and, you know, we still gotta do the actual, you know, competition portion of it, and all that, we're gonna do something totally unrelated to trains. We're going to actually work on a new mod. Actually, two new mods, if we have time. The first one is yet another mod by Storied Past who has made many, many, many mods. And it is called the Ore Crusher mod, but I've specifically chosen the Windmill-powered Ore Crusher mod because it's cool. And we're gonna do that. If you're familiar with modded Minecraft, then you know that there's a lot of ore doubling mechanics out there where you take your ore and you put it into some sort of machine and it crushes it down and you end up getting twice the amount of ore that you had, you would normally get. And this is basically that for medieval engineers. It basically makes it so it's a little more interesting to get twice as much ore than going around smacking things. So I'm thinking about putting it up here, mostly because I can take out this piece right here and put in a um, put in a splitter. And then I can put in another switch. Can I? So it looks like the power comes in from the side or from that side. Okay. You know what? I got a better idea. I'm going to remove this guy. We can when we want to switch between planks and and timber, we can switch out the blade. I'm not going to actually worry about having two of these. However, let's switch this. Okay, so that one's going to be staying as planks and timber, and then we're going to get rid of this guy over here. Let's get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this. And... Hopefully, removing this isn't going to make all that fall, but just in case, let's move this. Oh, why did that startle me so much? I even expected it to happen. And somehow, it still startled me. Okay, it's all okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Nobody's going to hurt you. Alright, I think... Oh, maybe that's not where it's powered. Well, let's stick that there anyway and see what happens. Okay... Where does, where does the ore crusher connect? Here, let's take this apart. And I'm going to turn this around and see if it connects better. I guess that kind of looks like it could connect. Well, I chose this side so it would be facing the other way. Darn it. Am I going to have to do this all over again? On this side? 
Let's see if we can get it working first. We're gonna need the ore crushing tool thingy. This guy. So, large stones, a log, and some metal parts. Making that. And then I've got a whole bunch of ore right here. So, let's see. If I throw that in there and that in there. There you go. Once you put the wheel on, then it sticks out and connects. I'm glad I didn't waste my linseed oil on it. I wonder if it even function without the linseed oil. That doesn't connect. Okay, so perchance, perhaps, I need some linseed oil. But it just so happens I made a ton of it. Okay, it has completed. That does not connect. Well, let's see. If I turn that on, and I remove this and put it back in again... Okay, and we'll throw that... In. Hey, look, it's spinning! So it is, it's backward. Oh, that's too bad. Because it actually has this cool little animation where it... And apparently sound, too. So in theory... There you go. It's making these little... Ground ore. Oh, I see. So it's actually putting the bags down here. Well, that's kind of cool. So in theory, the next one should create a second stack, and yeah, the little bag shows up there as well. And then this is all the piles that are ready to go. That's cool. I don't like that it's facing the other way, but I guess, you know, for safety purposes, maybe that's best. Let's go cook up some of this stuff. This should, yeah, look at that. And then you need five, that makes sense. So you get, so if you put five ore in the crusher, you get out ten bags of ground ore, and then you still need five of those to make an ingot. So in the end, you're getting twice as much. Is it just me, or did that cook a lot faster, too? Nice. And here, we'll stick all the ore there. Okay, well there's one mod done. <laughs> Let's actually look at another mod that I almost forgot I had that I've been I wanted to mention last episode and didn't get a chance. So, one of the things that's been bugging me for a long time is that the weapon rack can have things that aren't weapons in it. So, I can throw, you know, a sword, an axe, a hammer. Granted, you can hit somebody over the head with that, but you can hit somebody over the head with just about anything. So, it's really not so much a weapon rack, but okay, okay, fair enough. But you cannot put the shovel or the, the hand plow in. And I've been told that that's because there is a physical limitation. Like, they don't look good is basically what it comes down to. Understandable. Very understandable. So somebody came up with a tool rack. Here it is. The tool rack. And I can't remember off the top of my head who made this one, but I wanted to check it out. And it's basically... Oh, it kind of... Hmm. Well, we can put it over here, I guess. Should put it there. There. I kind of want to just stick it to the wall like this. Let's see what it looks like when you just stick it to the wall like that. So you can put things like the uh, shovel, and that does not look good. We're not, we're not doing that. We're putting that in a better place. Actually, you know what we could do? Let's make a little shelf. If I do this, come on. Can I place it on top of that? Yes, I can, in theory. Like that. 
Yeah, sure, I think. That'll kind of work. And then we can throw our shovel and our hoe into the tool rack. Nice. I like it. It gives a little bit more room uh, for the tools. Because, like, those, you know, like, the hoe is really long. And so if you put it in this, it would look funny. I get that. So that's why we have the tool rack. Hooray. Okay. I am, however, realizing that that's kind of turned around backward. There. That's better. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. How are we looking over here? We've got a lot. So the other thing I'm realizing about this mod is I'm pretty sure, could be my imagination, but I think they cook a lot faster, which means I don't have to like leave and come back later and hit the douse button so I don't use up all my fuel. I can stand here. It doesn't take that long, you know what I mean? That was quick. Now it's on to mod number three. This is actually a mod that I've had installed for a long time since before I put in the rail mod and I've been wanting to play with it but I just the rail mod mods kind of had my eye for a long time and so I've been playing with that. The gears mod, I believe this one's by Peaceman and it's really cool looking but I haven't had a chance to play with it so we're going to find out just how cool it is. So it's got all these teethed gears and I gotta figure out what to do with it. I kind of wanted to make uh, like an elevator or something like that that would work better than with the ropes because the ropes definitely have their issues. <laughs> and then I also thought about making like my own portcullis with it or there's all kinds of different I things that I could do. Um, including, including I could make a braking system for the, for the train, but, well, I don't know. I, I, I would have to have some sort of gears on the ground or something like that, and, and then I would have to actually put gears along the tracks in places, and it, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. The other thing I was thinking about doing with it is trying to actually lift the train up off the tracks and store it, something along those lines. I wasn't going to do anything with trains this time. So, let's not do anything with trains this time. Let's do something else with it. Okay, let's make a few of these and just play with the physics and see if we can figure this out. So I'm going to make a couple of fairly small ones. This... 9 to 20? Sure, why not? You know, let's make two of those. Because I wanted to play with some physics and see just kind of how they work together. Because I have some thoughts about how this might work. So if I put up a one-sided catch block here, like that, and I place this on here. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay. And then, obviously, we can just stick a handle on there and we can spin it. Right? Yeah. So, in theory, if I place a weight on, say, one side... Yeah. Okay, so it properly handles that bit of physics. And then, I'm not quite strong enough to get that all the way around, understandably. But, let's see, if I grab another one of these guys, and I want to attach that in such a way that I can actually, like, get these lined up properly. So if I do this, too close. Oh, come on, be nice. I'll just do that so we can attach it wherever we'd like. There, maybe? doesn't seem to want to be there. Oh. Oh, there's double... There's different types. Okay. So I have to assume that you can't just... Oh, no, you can. Interesting. Okay. So I turned that just a little bit and then was able to place it. So it's smart about where those teeth line up. 
Okay, so now the next question is, can I use some a system like this to create potential energy? Um, meaning, can I basically... Okay, no, you... No, mm, 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 there we go. Let's put... I want to put a plank on this side, which should mean that it would pull itself down. I might have to... Oh, I can't grab a hold of that. Come on. Yeah, okay, that works. So, like, if I put it up there, and then I place a weight on it. Yeah. Okay. So, that's working as expected. Okay, I'm going to pull this one off. And I want another catch block if I can. So I've got the locking catch blocks. Now yeah, let's try a locking catch block. Now if I get a smaller gear, we should be able to do some gearing. I want to do some like gear reduction or, or whatnot. So it looks like this size, which is the smallest one they have, can ha either have five or ten teeth. So let's take a look at this. Hmm. Yeah, ten's going to be too many. Five's not going to line up. Got to get a little bit closer. Is it gonna, not going to let me do that? It's too close. Hmm. So let's try the next... Actually, no. Yeah, let's try the next size up. Next size up would be... Size 3, size 5. That's a size 9, so I want a size 5. Okay. Alright, is this, this is the size 5. Let's do that. And that one looks like it fits just fine. Excellent. <laughs> okay, is it locked? No, it was not. So if I throw that on there, and we put a weight on there... Is it going to go anywhere? Is this thing in the way? <laughs> Apparently, this was not actually attached. Let's try that again. There we go. So can I turn this? I can. So now, let's remove that. And place it on this guy. So it's a lot easier to turn, but the bigger one turns more slowly. So this is how we're going to lift up a, a heavier weight. So if I put, say, this directly on here, I'm betting that I will be able to actually lift this, maybe, with this? No, or not. I can't, I forget my physics. I always have to, like, re-remember how gearing works. So let's play with one of these flat gears. We can make one of these, right? Yeah. And I want to play with... Let's see. If I go like this... Be nice to me. It's going to make a little table here to set this on. And then let's drop this flat gear, not actually on the table. I want it... Hmm. I think I made that a little too low. Well, my thought is that if I can get that, like, let's say right there, and then maybe pull it into position... Yeah, something like that. Actually, can I just grab it and move it into position? That would be cool, huh? If I could just let it go right there. But no, it's not going to let me do that. Oh. How do I let go of this now? <laughs> like that, apparently. That's not what I wanted. Can you... Thank you. And... 
Why did you stop? Oh, I know why you stopped. It goes through a lot of these um, wheels. But I'm also getting a lot of metal out of this, so I can't complain. Aha! There we go. Now, in theory, we should be able to turn this. Yes. So we can turn gear motion, rotational motion, into straight motion that way. Nice. I still have no idea what I'm going to do with that. Let's see how many of these we can move. If we can, even. Can I attach one to the other? Why not? Be nice to me. Oh, okay. I can attach it that way. That works. Um, nope. Other way. Oh no, that's that was right. Silly me. Hmm. Doesn't want to move, huh? What if I give it a shove? Oh yeah, no problem. Hmm. But one way or another, this moving... Okay, and I can actually attach a rope to this, too. So, it wouldn't be too hard to make rotational movement with falling movement. Okay. I like that idea. My brain is working overtime on this one. So this makes me wonder, can I make a chain? Probably. Do I want to? No. Let's make some more metal. Okay, so this is making me want to make some sort of crazy contraption on the front. Like, like something doesn't even have to be useful. I just want to make something insane. So what's the biggest gear that I can make? So they have a 17... What? It's a 17 internal with 40 teeth. Oh, but it's all internal. And this is a 17 with half... Here's a size 17 gear, I think is the biggest one they have. And that's going to require a whole lot more timber. Oh, that is going to take a very long time to make. We shall come back. Okay. If we put up a pillar right there. And another one there. Let's put some gears on it and make him do things. Okay, so we'll start with a one-sided catch block on that. And another one over there. And I've got this biggest gear possible. Uh-oh. Is that going to interact with the ground there? No, it's good. That's all good. I think I'm going to need something going over top to connect those two. So what if I do these wall arches? If I can actually get to the point where I can put them in. That's not going to work. Uh, let me see if I can go put them in from the top. I don't think I, I can quite reach that far. Oh, especially when I can't actually see out of here anymore. That's no good. That's way too far. And the sun is going down. Let's make it daytime. Yes, okay. And then now I should be able to do that. Beautiful. And I need more stones. Yeah, I need more catch blocks. So the next gear I've got is a size 9 it looks like. So if I put that up there, or maybe I should put the smaller one.
I do have this guy. Yeah, so he would have to be about there with the catch block. Ish. Let's see. Oh. One lower, it looks like. Actually, I wonder if it would go there. Yeah, like that. And then I just need to get rid of that one. Can I do that in spectator mode? I really don't want to try and make myself a thing. Nope. I gotta make myself a thing. Yeah, that should work, I think. I think I can reach that from here. Ooh. Which one is it gonna remove? Oh, if it removes the wrong one, at least I know where it is. Yay, it's right. Okay, what else do I have? I've got two of these gear nines. So it's going to need to be right about there. Like that? Is that too close? There, let's put this guy over here. And let's see if it's still too close. Yeah, it's too close. It needs to move over a little bit. Oh, sweet. So if I rotate this guy, is he going to be able to... Oh, just barely. And then let's do one more of these. Let's try that. Nope, too close. Ooh, that looks just about right, but I'm gonna have to rotate a little bit more. Is that just about right, or is that too close? I think that's too close. We're gonna bring this one lower. Okay, that's got to be close enough. Just got to move this. A bit more. Oh, come on. I think I'm moving one gear at a time. Like, it's lining up just wrong every time. Let's try... There you go. Perfect. Oh, I can still turn on the whole thing. Okay, that's awesome. So now what I'm thinking is I've got this art piece of sorts. Shouldn't need this anymore. I want to continue with this just a little bit, you know, here and there. And I wouldn't mind if I could make kind of a whole... Rube Goldberg machine. I would love to actually attach weights to things and have levers and ropes and maybe a balloon. Maybe the whole thing starts when I put a put down a balloon and light it and it lifts up and pulls on one side of something that rotates and turns and all kinds of craziness. I think that could be a lot of fun. But, unfortunately, for now, I think we're actually out of time for this episode. I'm not positive about that. It actually might be short. But half the time I say that, it ends up being long, not short. So, you know. If it is short, I'm sorry. If it's long, I'm still sorry. And... I think in all cases, you guys aren't going to complain too much because, you know, I'll be back. And you know that. So, and we'll have a whole lot more iron for next time, which will be nice. The amount of iron this thing's pumping out seems... Well, seems like it's about twice what I was getting before. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Oh, I still have a little tiny guy in here. Should we go try that out? I'm going to go try that out. Will he fit there? Well, look at that. Is that going to add enough that I can't turn this anymore? <laughs> nope. Still rotates. I like that. 
I think that's cool. I think I need a screenshot of that. I hope you enjoyed this little episode and my new little mods that I've thrown in here. Nothing amazingly exciting, but definitely stuff with potential and stuff with utility, which is nice. And yeah. If you did, you know, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. Give me a comment. Tell me what kind of amazing thing you should think that I should make out of gears. And don't forget to come back for the whole train braking system contest that I think is going to be in a week. I don't know. We'll find out. But one way or another, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.